Karthika, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to customize the configuration for an Apache Spark job in an Amazon EMR notebook. Let's get started. An Amazon EMR notebook is a serverless Jupyter notebook. A Jupyter notebook uses the Spark Magic kernel as a client for interactively working with Spark in a remote EMR cluster through an Apache Libby server. A custom configuration is useful when you want to either change executor memory and executor cores for a Spark job or change resource allocation for Spark. The steps that I'm going to illustrate now are to modify the current session's configuration for the Spark job. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EMR console. Then choose Notebooks from the left navigation panel. Select the notebook that you want and choose the button Open in Jupyter. From the right upper corner, choose the drop down New and then select PySpark. Copy the commands from the article and paste them into the Jupyter Notebook cell to change the executor memory and to disable the parameter spark.dynamicallocation.enabled of the Spark job. After pasting this command into the Jupyter cell, choose Run. You can run these two commands separately or you can run it together as shown on the screen. To confirm this configuration change, you can run percentage percentage info to display the current session's configuration. On running percentage percentage info, you can see the example output on the screen. To check it from the server side, use SSH to connect to the master instance of the EMR cluster with Spark session started. And then check this location forward slash where forward slash log forward slash Livy forward slash Livy dash Livy dash server dot out for the log. To confirm, I'll use grep to find the keyword of the parameter name in this location. And as you can see on the screen, both these configurations are set. Now you know how to customize an Apache Spark configuration using EMR Notebook. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.